Now that's all fine and good, but what if you don't just want a skull? We have a whole skeleton or we have a skull, but let's say we want something unique or you want to put your own model in there. Uh, it's super easy to do. In fact, the skeleton right here we can actually recreate pretty quickly with this subtool we have loaded. If we go over here to subtool, you'll see we hover over this, we have the entire skeleton loaded. I'm going to hold down shift and turn this eyeball off with the skeleton select. That's going to turn off all the rest of my subtools here. So if I want to make a cam view of the skeleton, you can go over here to cam view, hit make cam view. It'll go ahead and capture your skeleton and you're going to have an image over here. And by default, it's going to go ahead and capture your, uh, whatever you put in your cam view, it's going to load it up visible to you right in ZBrush. You can see we have our little skeleton over in the corner. And now this is different than the skeleton that comes in by default because you're going to notice it's missing the red, uh, green, and blue uh, arrows here. And now that I'm cycling through this, you're going to see, oh no, I've lost the skeleton that I made. Actually, you didn't really lose it. You still have the cam view saved over here as an image. So if you want, what you can do is you can go over here to your texture that's already selected, go over here to export, go to C program files, pixel logic, ZBrush 2020, Z startup, because this is going to, a cam view is something that's going to come in with ZBrush every time you start up, go over here to cam, the cam view folder, and then here's all the default cam views here. So we're just going to make a new one. We'll call this skeleton, no arrows, enter to save. And then now as I scroll through here, we're going to get to our skeleton with no arrows. And then if I click next again, there's our skeleton with arrows. So we've had a custom model in here. We've saved the cam view and we're good to go.